Um, Betty Lamb Creations from two months ago says, Hello, Greg. I've been watching you and the other Wiggles since I was very little, and you've all been such a great big part of my childhood. Well, that's great. Thank you very much. Um, first and foremost, I want to thank you for entertaining me and educating me all these years and for putting a smile on my face. Well, you're very welcome. I'm glad that we did. I also appreciate you taking your time with each and every comment. Well, I, I try to, um, since there's an awful lot of them. Yes, there are. Uh, some questions I have myself is, what was it like doing a TV special and a concert at Disneyland back in the 90s? Well, it was amazing. I think I've answered something along the lines of this before. Uh, performing at Disneyland was a real dream come true. You know, for somebody from Australia, uh, I grew up knowing about Disneyland. We had the wonderful world of Disney on TV here. And to go there and visit was just one thing, but to perform there and play in the Disneyland theater there, and I think it was in Fantasyland. Yeah, just amazing. So if you do get a chance, I'm sure it's on um, this wonderful thing called YouTube somewhere, if you look it up, uh, that Wiggles Live at Disneyland from 1997, I'm pretty sure. Check it out if you can. Now, the next question from Betty Lamb Creations is, were there any inspirations from other children's shows or bands before the Wiggles started? Well, I might, might have referenced this once before too in answering a question. There wasn't really any inspirations specifically, but Anthony had been listening to a lot of children's music before the Wiggles started. So as you probably know, we were studying to become preschool teachers or early childhood teachers. And Anthony had long been passionate about music and you know working with children. So. He'd done a lot of research and a lot of study, and I think probably the two, well, the single biggest influence I would say on the Wiggles, uh, this is my perspective, I would think would be Play School, which is a great TV show for children. And it's been going here in Australia for 50 plus years now, and it's just been, uh, it's such a great show for children. It's paced really well, and it does a lot of what I'm doing now, and that is looking to the audience, talking directly to the audience. It's not a passive experience for the child. It's a real interactive experience. So I think that would be one of the greatest inspirations. 